I've waited for this moment. The air is right, just chilly enough to warrant the lighting of candles and wear wool socks. I have a Lord of the Rings audiobook playing in my ear, and I'm channeling all my inner hobbit coziness into one of my favorite knitting sub hobbies, decorating the yarn hutch. Where is the monstrosity of a white hutch that you've seen for the last three years online, you ask? Sadly, the white yarn hutch is living in my garage, safely awaiting new owners to bring it home and love it well. Whatever the white yarn hutch ends up as, I'm grateful for its time with us, but it was time for a change. Our sunroom has a beautiful view of the yard and sits right off the dining room. It has had a lot of temporary purposes, like an office, a greenhouse, a chicken brooder, and most often the laundry dump. So the story goes that this green hutch that used to hold our homeschool things and art supplies is now home to my yarn collection. And I wanted to take you along in the decorating. I'm hopeful that a lot of inspiration will come from this hutch and this whole sunroom studio. So today we're going to get set up and move in. I've already cleaned this out and added my anchors that I don't really ever switch out. And those are some of my plants. I also have my most favorite knitting books here and a beautiful basket that I thrifted to hold some needles. My plan with the rest of my books is to keep them in our bedroom. I say the rest of, but it's really not that many. A few kids knitting books or books specific to a certain project that I can pull out when I need. And now we come to the yarn. I've got about half the space here to store my yarn than I did in the old hutch, so I'm going to have to be smart about it. I also have a new challenge, sunlight. This hutch faces the window and while it's set back a bit and shouldn't get direct sunlight for long, I don't want to have the yarn fading. My thought is to keep out only what I'm currently working on and what's truly going to be knit next. So us going into fall here, I'm not going to keep out my chunky yarn or cotton. I currently have two whips going, a tank top that's as simple as can be, and a shawl that needs a little more attention. So I'll keep those in baskets. Then I can put them right back in here or put them in a project bag if I'm taking them out to work on. I like doing that so much better. Then I'm not trying to remember where I set down a small pair of socks somewhere in the house. I'm also keeping out bear yarn for dyeing. We're going into walnuts dropping on our head season and I'm looking forward to foraging and dyeing my bear sock yarn this fall. I'm going to put my pattern binder in the drawer, if it fits, and also my circular needles. Those things both lay pretty flat and I want them to be easily accessible. I wrote about how I organize my knitting patterns, which you can find on my blog. And I'm also keeping other flat things like circular needles and crochet hooks in there. One thing I'm going to play around with is how I organize my knitting needles. It will need to be a different system than in my blog post. I might rubber band the needle sets together, but I also really like the way this looks and I don't use straight needles as often as circulars or double pointed. Underneath, I have the next big projects and designs that I have planned. They're already sorted by my color palettes, so you can see that I have Christmas and winter designs brewing in my mind. I need to keep this yarn close by so that I can stay on track, so these will live under the hutch like a happy little hutch troll. I also don't only knit by designing, so I'll keep yarn that is kind of speaking to me this fall, 
that I'm hoping to cast on. In this case, it's looking ahead to Christmas by working on my Christmas stockings. One last thing that used to live in my dresser actually is everything I need to film and take photos of my knitting. Knitting photography is so much fun for me. I'm also keeping a few knitting accessories like my ball winder and yarn swift right here so I don't have to search around when I need those tools. And that is the finished yarn hutch. We have moved into the new yarn hutch and this is a dose of reality for sure. I know the white hutch held way more yarn than most people could display, but this hutch feels less fussy and more me. It feels simple and it feels manageable while still being joyful and meaningful. <laughs> 